Boy, it is a hot one today, y'all. Woo! My goodness, it is hot. Woo, and I am not liking it. Yo, 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 what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Had to unload the old cow blind off the trailer because today we're going to pick up the pigeon loft. I've been hyping it up, I've been telling you guys Look, we got too many pigeons that we've trapped now. We got way too many of them for the little cage that we have. I've had to separate cages. I have a handful of them here and a handful of them in this little cage. That ain't gonna work. So it's just been getting us by the last couple days and today is the day that we go pick up the backyard pigeon loft. Now, this is one of Jordan's old lofts that he built years and years back and it's just literally sitting and rotting away and he's like, dude, Instead of you spending money and wasting money on building a new one, why don't you just come get this one so we can salvage it and just keep it going because it's a great beginner loft. He said it's good for up to eight or ten birds pretty easily. So we might be able to add to this one if we need some room because I have a feeling we're going to keep trapping these pigeons like crazy. Uh, yesterday was the day that we trapped six in one day. So today I'm really anxious to get out there. We're actually going to go check it right now gonna go check the traps and then here later like I said go pick up the loft and get it all set up that is the game plan today y'all so to say the least guys if you haven't hit that notification bell right down there you need to because these videos are gonna be every day I've been doing my best to do every day daily uploads it's been a goal here on the channel to get to that point and it's been awesome it's been really fun doing the pigeon videos and the dog videos and now the farm videos we just have a conglomeration of awesome content that I'm able to go daily so there might be a day here and there that we don't upload but for the most part we've gone daily boy howdy do I love these trapping videos because every time I roll into the truck stop here, my, my heart's just pacing because I never know if we have anything or not. And, oh, uh, is that, no. No, sir, none, okay. But what's good is it looks like they're all starting to gather here for the day. It's right at three o'clock. It seems like three to 5.30, man, they are just thick around here. And you can always, and you always know they're going to be here around that time. So, looks like they're starting to congregate around the trap, so we're not going to bother them right now. Ah, yep, we haven't made it to get the loft yet. Um, Jordan's uh, still at work, waiting for him to get off. So I was like, you know what, we better go by the old truck stop. We let the trap sit for about, it's been about 45 minutes. We got one. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna have to grab him and uh, take him back to the house and then go all the way back across town. Yeah, it sounds like I'm complaining, right? <laughs> no, believe me, I'm just trying to be funny. This is awesome though. We got another blue bar, not complaining at all. I think it's pretty darn awesome that I have figured these birds out. Look at them, they're comfy. They are comfy here. Figured them out with the wheat. I mean, we got them, boys. Well, here he is. This pigeon trapping thing, it's uh, kind of becoming second nature and it's actually working out, right? Pretty crazy. With the right food and then them getting used to this, this trap being here, how many we have caught in the last two days. That is seven birds that we have caught in the last two days. It actually hasn't even been a full 48 hours yet. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. There we go. Got us a nice blue bar here. No band, no band. I'll be trying to get away now. Put them in the bucket. We are good to go. Wow. This is becoming easy now. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be quite honest. I um, I was weary when we first ever even sat at the trap. I didn't know if we were ever gonna trap one. Now look at us. But here we are, we got our wheat here. This is the juice, let me tell you what. We gotta put a little bit more by the door there. Put some in that corner again. What's happening is these pigeons, they're learning 
that this spot in the trap is the only place in this whole area that has the wheat. And they know it now. It's been going on a few days and they come right back. I haven't moved the trap. I think that's key. It's not moving the trap. There are some very, very pretty birds here though. Let me tell you what. But the real pretty ones, the white ones, I think all in all the adult ones, they just know better. I'm no pigeon expert. I hope to learn more and more and more. But uh, we're going to have to get Jordan over to the house here in just a bit after we go pick up the loft. He's going to have to give us a rundown on, on what's old and what's young. I'm sure most of these pigeons we've trapped are mostly young birds who just aren't very smart. But the trapping's working, y'all. I mean, it hasn't even been 48 hours, and we have trapped seven pigeons. We got eight pigeons total, boys. I hope that this new loft is going to be big enough for them all. that Jordan ever said about this loft was hey I have a little loft I said what's little he's like oh it's real small I just don't use it anymore you need to put it to use or else the weather is just gonna make it fall apart and I'm like perfect now with eight birds we need it right a lot okay well that's a lot bigger than I anticipated it's bigger than it's heavier than I remember it is heavy this whole yeah. back section here as you can tell it is upside down it's actually sitting on the roof and back here, he's built a whole little breeding area, a whole little nesting area out back. It'll serve its purpose, I guarantee it, because we have gotten into trapping them, boy, let me tell you. You've been tearing them up. At this rate, we're going to need this and <laughs> the one that's on its roof over there. <laughs> yeah, see that one over there? That's another loft over there that's sitting on its roof. Storm blew it over. That's Jordan's big loft. We're going to have to get it going because with the amount of birds that we're trapping now, we need an overflow. Woo! Well, we have been working our buns off. It is pitch dark out now. I got some ghetto lights set up so we can film here because we are proud of what we done got all did up. It's an actual walk-in. We're gonna go in here. Hopefully they don't freak out on us. Oh yeah, we're good. Oh good, oh, that easy dude. So we got old dude sitting up here on this little perch. Check it out though. This is pretty darn neat. Pretty cool. It's a full walk-in. So you got their food down on the ground like so. But they have all these little perches here. All these little roof spots. And in here, see them going in that little doorway there? That's a little breeding room in there. And a little breeding room in there. Basically little roost rooms where they can feel comfortable. Just like here, we got a couple cubby holes. They're already chilling in there. But I gotta, uh, yeah, the door's a little ghetto rigged right now, but I will fix that. But this little loft is amazing. Jordan really, really hooked it up with this thing. You were like, dude, it's gonna rot if you don't use it. You gotta use it. There's plenty of it that has rotted. There's some stuff that needs fixed, but it'll hold pigeons though. Oh yeah, it's not bad at all. But, on another note, Jordan got his channel up and running. Oh, I yeah. did. Uh-huh. We've been warning y'all, and he got it up. He only has, what, a couple videos up right now, right? Two, two and a half. If I get everything <laughs> edited, there'll be three, but it's right. two right now. But it's up. I will link it in the description below. You got to go check Jordan's channel out. Go over there, watch his video, go comment on the video, and you got to make sure you subscribe because he's coming at you with what? The meat processing, how to. I'm gonna throw as much stuff out there as I can, but we're gonna do a lot of how to meat processing. How to um, make deer jerky, how to make deer summer sausage. Yep. At, I got goose brats coming. Yep, yeah. he has the shop, you know, where he does all of his meat processing at. Deer jerky and deer summer sausage. Well, now Jordan has his own channel, and he's gonna teach you over there. But you can hear the firecrackers going off. I'm sure these pigeons ain't liking that. But this is a cool little loft. What do you think about it, Jackson? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Check them out, though. They're all just a chilling. They're loving it. They were preening earlier, even. So yeah. I mean, they're comfortable. What's preening? Preening. 
they were oiling their feathers, getting them ah. set up. Right. Basically like combing your hair except bird style. Gotcha, they're all in their cootins. When we originally had Clark, he didn't coot. And now that we got six or seven more in there, well, yeah, seven more, now there's like two or three of them that are cooting, which says they're males, right? Yes, yeah, when you hear that coo, they're definitely males, and they're definitely trying to be top dogs, so. So, you know what that means? We have to ban these males to know which ones are which here, because I still don't know which one Clark is. <laughs> well, we figured, what the heck, I was going to wait till another video, but found a little zip tie. We're going to go ahead and ban this one male here. This is a blue check. Mm -hmm. This actually... No, that ain't Clark. Definitely isn't Clark. No. Clark was a female. <laughs> Clark's definitely a female. But we're going to slip this little red zip tie over Come his on. foot just so we know how to uh, how to tell what he is here. There we go. Yeah. There you go. And I banned oh. the males on the left because the females are always right. Oh, gotcha. Oh, females are on the right leg. My wife said females. <laughs> if you're married, you know what we're saying. Sorry, babe. Yeah. <laughs> but there we go. Check it out. Little red band on the blue check. That's a male. Yep. He's yeah. a pretty guy, too. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good looking birds. No lice. That's good. This is what I've been waiting for forever to actually start trapping some birds. Woo! Well, it is the next day, and check it out. Uh, the pigeons. Oh, yeah, they're all feeding. Check this out. This is awesome. They're all down in the bottom. They're all gonna start flying up as I get there. Darn it. What's up guys? Here they are today though. They're all just chilling. They're all standing down here getting them a bite to eat. They are looking good in here though. Really cool. Well, I won't bother them too much. They're still getting acquainted. See, when I close the door, they go right back down there. Now, I was saying that we were going to build our own back here, but I was like, why spend my money? Money that I don't have to spend because it would be expensive for all this wood, all the wire especially. Why build one? Why buy one? When Jordan has one sitting around that's actually rotting away. And it would have just rotted away if I hadn't just got it from him. But after this video, you guys have to go check out Jordan's channel. Big shout out to Jordan. Hooking it up with the loft. So cool. I actually gave him my old camera for his YouTube channel. So it's actually pretty cool. It's a hand-me-down camera. It came from Flair to me and now Jordan. But I appreciate you guys being here so much. I hope you guys are excited for more news on the loft. We got a lot to do to it yet. We got to put dirt in the bottom of it. We got to fix some stuff. We got to add some feeders and some water feeders, some homemade water feeders. So be expecting all sorts of awesome stuff to come with the loft. But thank you all for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. You want to say peace, Bubba? Say peace. Tell him. Peace. Peace. Oh, Harper will say, say peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real And it's on a knee